What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I wanted to show you guys how to update your kernel within Manjaro. And if you guys saw my last video on the latest version of Manjaro, I basically did a quick review. Well, this is one of the things I actually talked about in the video and I forgot to explain. Uh, and I noticed it while I was editing the video, as well as my man Dork Dweeb said in the comment section. Uh, he was like, oh, you forgot. And I was like, man, I should have. I totally saw that once I start editing the video that I had forgot to show people how to change the kernel um, that's being used by the operating system. And it's basically two ways to actually show you. So let's hop over to the virtual machine so I can walk you guys through how to actually do it. Also, before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ as the official supporter of Rocky Linux, which I think is one of the best replacements for your CentOS server. If you haven't been paying attention, Red Hat announced in 2021, it will be going away with CentOS as the downstream clone for Red Hat and Rocky Linux is here to pick up the pieces. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. All right, cool. So this is Manjaro 21.3, uh, like I did in the review. It's that same system that I had installed. I'm glad I actually kept it, kept it on my uh, uh, virtual machine. You know what I'm saying? I kept the actual operating system. I didn't have to reinstall it. But first thing I wanna do is show you guys how to change it from the command line. This is probably a little bit more difficult for people that is not inter that are not familiar with working with the command line so much. So let's go in and and let's uh, zoom in a little bit. So basically we can just hit the enlarge font. That'll be the easiest way to actually do it, which I could have did it, you know, using my shortcuts. But like I always say, you guys, when I'm uh, working with a virtual machine, uh, it's running in the browser. And sometimes those uh, shortcuts won't work properly or they'll close out the screen. You know what I'm saying? So I always do it within the app. So let's start off by showing you guys one of the command or the actual command that we use to see what what current kernel that we're actually using i'll show you guys the options right fast so all we have to do is type m h w d and then dash kernel and just to show you guys uh what is what it is let's just go to the man page right fast it should be a man page for it well maybe it's not that's fine uh we can go through and run the command i know the actual options to run but it's actually l i and that'll give us the currently running an in-use kernel on the system and it's something you want to find out anyway and you'll see it in the gui um app that i want to show you guys but and as you can see the current running um you know kernel is 5.15.48-1 manjaro so linux 515 uh, so that's actually installed and what's running on this system. That's what actually comes when you install Manjaro, you know, for the first time. Well, this version, you know, it actually comes with 5.15. Now, the next thing, let's go on and use the Pac-Man command to search for uh, other kernels. So I'll show you guys how to do that now. And I'll put these commands down in the description of the video so you guys can kind of follow along. And so all we have to do is type Pac-Man dash s capital s and then lowercase s and as you can kind of see it's already typed out i uh i typed the command before so i'm gonna, I'm gonna just go to the right but it's we're basically searching for any package with linux 5 and then we're grepping for kernel and modules and that'll basically filter out the list of packages that it'll search and find uh, that are Linux 5, or at least start with Linux 5, similar to this right here, how it's Linux 5. So it'll search for anything after that as well. Uh, and then press enter, boom, and that'll find our kernels. So as you can see, it's a whole bunch of kernels. So Linux 5.10, 5.15, 5.17, 5.18, 19, um, and basically they're all kernels. Now the RTs are a little bit different, uh, just so you guys know, they are unsta unstable and uh, real-time kernel releases. So you don't, you kind of want to stay away from those. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to um, actually install those as well, but you can get a, a, a newer kernel, you know what I'm saying? 517, 518, 519. You know what I'm saying? One of those newer kernels. So that's dope right there. Let me show you guys how to actually install it right fast. 
and just to show you the command but basically all you had to do is type sudo again pac-man once you find out which one you want to actually install dash s and then all we have to do is install that kernel all we have to do is type linux and let's say we want to put the 517 kernel on there so let's just type 517 and press enter type in our uh sudo password press enter and it'll go through and install that that new kernel now all this is doing is really installing it uh with the modules but you actually have to activate it and i'll show you guys how to actually activate that kernel once we get it installed once this install is done now that we got the uh new kernel install and just so you guys remember it's 5.17 in order for it to take effect we have to run one more command and it's uh basically using that mhwd command again uh so mhwd dash kernel boom and then dash i for install and then we want to specify that kernel which uh was 517 so 517 and there is another option uh you can run behind this but it's rmc and this will remove the old or the existing kernel you know at the installation of this new kernel uh it'll remove it all together but majority of the time uh when you're installing let's say a bleeding edge kernel you kind of want to keep that that other kernel you know around for a while in case you know you run into any issues with the operating system you know booting up you can always revert it back to the old one because it's there it's still there you could fall back to 5.15 so let's go down and uh actually i'm not gonna run rmc but i'm gonna just run it and get it to uh update to the latest version or the latest kernel right fast and let's press enter it'll go through and actually i hit enter but i meant to uh type y in it and it's basically asking you if you want to continue and this is basically going to change over your kernel uh to that version so uh let's just wait for this to finish again but uh when it comes up you have to type yes or y because uh, it's basically asking you know, are you sure so let's press enter boom press enter and i'll upgrade the system you know what i'm saying it, it normally doesn't take too long uh, and they also have like uh, snapshots that are being done you know all kind of stuff that's being done when you run this command uh it shouldn't take too long but i'll be back when it actually finishes all right cool so we are done all we have to do is reboot the system at this point and we should have that current um or that new kernel installed and running on the system so let's run a sudo uh reboot now i just type now but it'll reboot come back up i'll be back when it actually comes up all right cool so it's back up let's go down and log in so i can make the screen big for you guys again and we can run the original command so we can check the current version or the current kernel that's actually installed and being used so let's uh open up the terminal again uh let's zoom in the front so you guys can kind of see a little better again and let's type the mh wd dash kernel and li and as you can see we are running kernel 517 but as you can see that's why i left off that other option so i can keep that old kernel on there so we get to go we have the current version or not the current version but the kernel that we wanted to use that we wanted to change it to you know installed and is actually running on the system now let's go down and close this and show you guys the gui way of actually doing it and basically if you hit the start menu go under you see there are settings yeah settings and then what we're looking for is the manjaro settings manager so we click on that and as you can see we have an option there for kernel so we can modify the kernel you know right here using uh this little gui tool so let's double click on it open it up uh now as you can see it kind of shows those changes that we made already uh we're running and i was trying to hold on let's try i'm trying to make it big so you guys can see it but as you can see we're running uh linux 5.16 i mean 17 and before we were running 15 which is the lts recommended version now this is a way to actually um you know install or change you know to a different kernel or install a new, a new kernel as you can see they have up to 519 uh, or c 3.3-5 3-1 
uh, so you can install that. So 519, 518, you know, 518 RT, uh, like I was showing you guys before. Uh, it's a real time, uh, but they always recommend you use a stable kernel. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you can make those changes here. So let's say you wanted to go back to 515. You can actually just hit remove. Uh, and as you can see, it'll remove that that kernel for us. And then it'll go on and, and move and revert back to 515 for us uh, once we reboot. Uh, so you can run that and that'll go through. Like I said, it'll remove that that kernel. You know what I'm saying? And this is the kernel that will actually be running once we reboot the system. Uh, and actually, let's reboot it now so you guys can see. But we basically did the exact same thing. Uh, we removed that kernel. Um, and let's restart. And we should be reverted back to 515. All right. And let's log back in to the system right fast and hurry up and get over here so I can show you guys that it should be running back on 5.15, which is the LTS recommended. Let's hit the start menu, go to settings and then Manjaro settings manager uh, and open up the kernel again. And we should be back on 5.15. So that's an easy way of actually, you know, changing it. And as you can see, it's running back on there. Uh, you never wanna not have a kernel on here <laughs> installed. Uh, otherwise your system won't boot up, but um, if it's not installed, you know, then it's, you know, it's not going, if you remove that, then your system's not going to work, obviously. So you want to make sure you install whatever kernel you want to run. And then when you reinstall, I mean, when you reboot, it will take over as the current, um, kernel and just show you guys, we can install that one back on there. Now let's hit yes. Boom. Type in our password, our pseudo password. So we can run it get 517 back installed it's going to update the modules and dependencies just like what we did in the terminal you'll see it you know pop up and go through that same process we did within the terminal uh, in order to get that new kernel installed and then we can set it as the running kernel uh, just by simply rebooting at the time now i hope you guys enjoyed the video that's a very simple process i showed you guys the command way or the way to do it in the command line interface as well as within the gui tool that's built in the manjaro to allow you to modify your current kernel uh, just change it install new kernels and all that good stuff so i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions leave comments down below and of course keep it techy